Hello everyone, I am Verdant T and I'm back today with more rain code. I really cannot wait to see where we wind up waking up after this whole fiasco. Um, it was not good in general, but yeah. Anyway, uh, I am streaming more on Twitch. Please go ahead, check out the link in the description. I'd really appreciate seeing any, seeing you guys there, seeing all of you guys there, whatever words. And please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get to it. Picking up in the room. Looks kind of like the room. Where no? am I? It's not the room. No, it's not the room that the rebellion people were in. I don't think. That's creepy. What was that? Creepy. I just said. Where are we? Uh. I don't know, but it doesn't look good. Oh man, this place is giving me the creeps. You and me both, Shinigami. You and me Let's both. Just look around and figure out where we are for now. What the heck was that? No, wait. I have to figure out where I even am. This is... Okay, that's a... Uh... Oh, that reminds me. I have detective points to spend. Oh, I can't access the... Oh, wait. Yes, I can. Okay. I have all the skills except for the vitality ones now. What is... Uh, no. No, wait. I just saw the... Groovy! All thing there. That looked like one of the... Uh, the... Alky thingies. No, she's not! Better not be. Wake up! Groovy! Mm. Oh, thank goodness. Yuma? Where am I? Don't know. I don't know. I just woke up too. Looks like the house from... Like a Japanese version of the house from Resident Evil 7. What is this place? I've never seen anywhere so... creepy. You don't know where we are either? It's raining, so it's probably somewhere in Kanai Ward. But I don't <laughs> recognize anything here. You know, rain occurs in other places too. Kanai Ward. There are some rundown shacks over there. Looks like a rural village. Hey, Yuma. Do you remember how you were brought here? No. Nope. Um, let me think. Smoke suddenly came out of my pocket. And I fell unconscious. It must have been a powerful sedative. You were instantly KO'd. I got knocked out too. And I remember seeing on the news before I passed out. The WDO building was bombed by a terrorist. Huh? It was? Mm-hmm. Could this be related to the explosion? Who could have done this? Makoto. The criminal being pursued by the World Detective Organization? What's going on? This is totally bizarre. And where is everyone else from the detective agency? If they were taken away like we were, then they should be nearby. We should search around here for now. Master, be careful. I'm worried about that weird shadow from earlier. Right. What was that thing? And then I was gone. 
And then I was gone sounds like an it's Agatha like Christie novel. It's like the afterlife. Oh, don't say that. I don't know what the afterlife is like, kiddo. Want me to show you the real thing? Oh, shut up, Shinigami. Let's go. Couldn't even kill Yomi without a mystery. Going back in here to get that thing. Uh. Okay, that's nothing, and the door. Hmm. Okay, can't open it. Cool. So let's go ahead and grab this. Oh, it's Desuhiko. Oh well. Let's go ahead and get Desuhiko's gumshoe gab thing over with. Real quick, just want to see. Pressure at the construction site and beyond the red bridge. Okay. Hey, what's wrong, Desahiko? You called me over, said you wanted to talk? Y yeah, uh, about that. Uh, what? Anyway, isn't it so nice to be up here? What's going on? He's been acting like this for over an hour, not telling me why he called. Is it something you have trouble talking about? I don't know if you want to ask me a favor or something else, but you'll have to talk about it first. Uh, sorry, you're right. Uh, I'm just a bit afraid is all. We're busy here, so hurry it up. Please. Here goes. Right. Um, no, I won't go out with you. There's a big reason why I called you here today. Um, will you? I was joking. No. My. Uh, oh. Well, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Too embarrassing! I can't say it! Why not? My man, you should know what I'm trying to get at. Oh, I'm gonna pick oh, something man. weird. So crazy. Just to get him. I have to do something or this won't end. Um, what is he trying to say? Then what? I have to say, <laughs> it's too ridiculous to pass up. Banana? Yeah, bananas. Yeah, I haven't had any in a while. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. I guess that's not it. Uh, Desuhiko is trying to talk about. Oh, it's gonna let me guess again, or? Oh. Band? Darn. Y yeah. Uh, how about we form a band? <laughs> huh? A band? Master's going to join a band? Sure, sounds like you know, fun. Stars and bands go hand in hand. And suddenly it's no longer fun. I always plan on going solo, but. Sharing the spotlight with a buddy of mine wouldn't be such a bad thing. For the first time in my life, I finally met someone I'd want to form a band with. Oh, that's his version of a proposal. We met you, my man. Desuhiko. How about it? Do you want to make a band together? Let's journey on a path towards stardom side by side. What? Uh... What'll you do, Master? What do I do? I'm happy Desuhiko invited me, but I don't know how to play any instruments. Besides, I'm not interested in joining a band or being a star. Sorry, I'm happy that you asked, but... I 
me see. I guess you don't wanna. I don't know if this makes up for it, but how about I support you as a fan? Huh? Fan of a ban. My fan? No way. I can't agree to that. Besides, uh, you've never heard me sing before. That's uh, true. Oh, right. And you want to call yourself my fan? <laughs> I doubt it. You're just offering because you feel awkward for turning down my invitation. I'd rather you just completely reject me instead of saying that to make me feel better. Okay, no. Deep down, I want to be your fan. Oh, come on, Yuma. You chose to be both a star and a detective. I think you're really cool for not giving up on either dream. And in that sense, I'm already your fan. That's why I'm serious about wanting to support you. <laughs> well, if that's the case, I don't mind having you as a fan. <laughs> but I still hate that you've never heard me sing. So listen to one of my songs right now. Huh? You're going to sing right here, right now? No, a yeah, different song. My brand new banger. The song of my man. Um. To be honest, it was hard to evaluate if Desuhiko's song was good or bad. I'm not sure myself because I don't know much about music. But like his personality, the song was very straightforward and heartfelt. Ah. I believe Desuhiko will be able to achieve his dream of becoming a star. I don't know why, but I think it'll come true. Tatsuhiko have forged the ultimate bond together. Oh. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. Not sure I am. <laughs> okay, that's Tatsuhiko done. Actually surprised I managed to find them all. Someone's there. Uh. What are they doing? If standing they there? Here, they might know something. Wait, you're going to talk to them? I think that's a bad idea. The Nova we reunion. Where we are. It'll be fine. I think. You sure about that? Uh... Sh sure Sure, let's, uh... Is this really okay? Why not? Um, excuse me. Uh, hello? Is it me you're looking for? Uh... Doubtful. No way. I mean, he didn't even try to talk. Okay, fair. Get out of here. I know. Master, hurry up and run. Why? Anyway, not a person that oh, yeah, those are more people. 
All right, let's go this way. Where should I run to? Trying to explore everything in case there's more of those things. I think we can get in that building. Let's hide there for now. Oh wait, there's something in there. ourselves let's look for something we can use as weapons that's a bad idea what? What do we do? Hmm. oh Hilaris okay let's uh let's see Hilaris real quick Halara asked for me, so I'm at the cafe. Um, Halara? Did you want something from me? Do you really have to ask? It's about your debt. Maybe? Obviously. Well, how do you plan on paying me back? I In very, very small installments. Sorry. Well, you can't do anything but apologize. It appears you have no repayment plan in place. If you don't change that soon, I will consider implementing interest. Please don't. Oh. You better come up with a plan to pay me back. Uh, all right. But if all you wanted to talk about was my debt, why'd you invite me here? We could have gone over it at the agency. I don't want you to grow accustomed to owing me. People lose their sense of urgency in paying back debts when complacent. That's why I'm reminding you right now. I see. It's not my place to say since I'm the one in debt here, but don't you make enough money as a detective, Polara? You're always trying to make more. What do you need all that money for anyway? <laughs> I suppose I can tell you. Huh? Oh boy. If I continue to save at this rate, I will be able to create a program in about six years. Oh? That is what the money is for. A program? A program that will save 30% of all cats around the world experiencing hardship. Aw. What? Oh. Uh, hmm. That caught me so off guard that I don't know what to say. You want to start a charity? No, not a charity. This is all for my personal satisfaction. Cats provide a healing experience, so I want to give back to them in some way. That's all. That's amazing! How wonderful! Enough. As I said, this is all for my personal satisfaction. Doesn't matter, it's still wonderful. Oh, but if it's so important, why did you tell me? I didn't even threaten you or anything. Yes, about that. I'm sure you already know this, but... A detective can lose their life at any moment. Yeah, you did teach me that. So if I were to die, I want you to carry out this plan for me. Aww. I'm thinking it over for a while. I figured this was a good time to tell you. Huh? Why me, though? I'm not sure myself. Why do you think? I'm trustworthy? Could it be that it's because you trust me? I hope I'm not assuming too much there. Incorrect. 
No matter who it is, I will not trust any human. Okay, then. So it is not accurate to say, I trust you. I see. Both like cats, then? However, I wouldn't mind being betrayed by you. Or rather, I would accept a betrayal at your hands. Huh? Isn't that practically the same as trusting me? In my mind, it's entirely different. I don't trust you. Okay. But the way you said you wouldn't mind if I betrayed you... That makes me way happier than if you just said you trusted me. <sighs> Aww. Anyway, we were discussing something else. You will pay your debt to me in full. Yeah, yeah. They are very sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Master, you and Halara have forged the ultimate bond together. Good for you, Master. I'm happy for you. I mean, Halara is awesome. Okay, so. We have three more. We need to keep an eye out for... Where were they again? Uh, bamboo Grove. Construction site. And a red bridge. Or something like that. Maybe... I don't want to pick up a weapon. I'm worried it'll... Oh, an envelope? Hmm? An envelope? There's a letter inside. Oh. Evacuation order. Yesterday, toxic gas was discovered to be leaking from the nearby mines. Less convenient? This area has been purchased by Amaterasu Corporation and has been designated as off-limits. All residents are hereby requested to evacuate the area immediately. Very inconvenient. From Amaterasu Corp. I see. I think I know where we are. You Where's that? This is the restricted area. Oh. Supposedly, it was a tiny village that was abandoned due to a toxic gas leak from a nearby mine. Ever since then, the whole area has been restricted. So this is where you were talking about. Isn't this where the corpse processing facility is supposed to be? Oh yeah. This is becoming more of a horror story by the minute! Spooky, spooky, spooky! Oh yeah, that rumor. I need to confirm it with Kurumi. Uh. Kurumi, there's something I need to ask you. Halara was investigating the restricted area and mentioned something. In Kanai Ward, corpses rot easily due to the humidity from the rain, so they are quick to retrieve bodies. The corpses are then loaded onto trucks and transported to the restricted area for disposal. Huh. That process is managed by a department with a handful of people working directly for Amaterasu's CEO. On top of that, they are only involved in transportation. They aren't aware of what happens afterwards. How the bodies are buried and who buries them is a mystery. And who put us in houses? Really? House. So the rumors about it being a corpse processing facility were true? I mean, I allegedly. Know. No, I don't. But why a corpse processing facility? Maybe Amaterasu is secretly disposing bodies used for human experimentation. If that's the case, what if bodies coming back to life was an unexpected side effect of the experiment? Oh no, we better not find a Yakko zombie. But that can't be. A corpse can't come back to life. Aren't zombies supposed to be dead? They sure didn't smell like corpses to me. 
they didn't really seem alive either. What are they? Homunculi. The story of the toxic gas from the mines is true. These could be the residents suffering from it. No. We'll make some of that info a solution key just in case. Oh. That's good, at least. It's the three girls. All died. What part of the corpses are brought here? Do you not understand? Were all three of you turned into zombies? Uh, 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 uh. I think we're in the wrong genre. Zombies don't show up in mystery titles. Well, they do in this one. Hey, master, you better scram before you get eaten. Kurumi. Let's run! Y yeah! <laughs> now they're firing arrows at us? Zombies can't use weapons? Yeah, but this well, one has a letter on it. Hey, there's a letter on the arrow! <sighs> uh, Kurumi, let's hide! This way! And before we do that, though, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end this episode here. I'm sorry, everyone. I really want to see what happens next, too. This is getting really good. So, if you wouldn't mind, please leave a like uh, if you enjoyed the video. I really appreciate it. And if you wouldn't mind hitting subscribe if you haven't already and ring the bell, you'll know when I release the next episode so you can find out what happens too. And, you know, if you wouldn't mind, leave a comment. Let me know how I'm doing. Let me know how you're doing. Let me know which character are you most wanting to see as a zombie. Like, I know that sounds weird, but out of all the characters that have died in the mysteries and all, which one are you most wanting to see as, as a zombie? Because I kind of want the guy who was working alongside the priest. I kind of want to see that. The weirdo guy who tried imitating the thing. Anyway. Alright, well, thank you all so much for joining me on this episode and I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, Stay awesome. Bye now.